Electron Configuration and Paramagnetism, a Classroom Demonstration, the subshell. Now, in the next case, it's the same thing, except we have one electron left unpaired. And the presence of this unpaired electron uh, gives a magnetic effect to the substance because, as you know, the, uh, the spin of an electron, and the spin is not to be taken literally, um, it creates a magnetic field about itself and uh, this is what we can actually demonstrate in the classroom with very simple equipment and that's the the interesting part of this uh, demonstration to show how this is done. Here is the uh, setup. We have a uh, decimal one gram balance here. There's the block of wood and there's the balances uh, which uh, the, sorry the uh, the magnets uh, in my case, I, re I got them from Lee Valley Tools in a package like this. So the first thing is, we'll put the block here in the middle, followed by the uh, magnets, and then we will zero it. So that's that part. Now, uh, this device here is a little homemade uh, construction consisting of a piece of wood, drilled a hole, here in the side and put a dowel in it and uh, glued it and on top here we have two pieces of wood with screws in them and the uh, gap here can be adjusted for the uh, container that you're going to use. In my case I've uh, chosen a container like this a very inexpensive dollar store type of container and it's designed to sit like this. Now um, you have to lower this whole apparatus so that they're you're, you've got the container as close as possible to the magnets without touching it. You can see the zero is still there. So that is uh, the setup and then uh, we can make the measurements. So let's let's uh, take some examples here. Here's uh, copper, uh, uh, copper atom. Now uh, copper oxide as we saw in the first slide looks like this. And so we would expect, since they're all paired up, their magnetic fields will cancel out and there will be no effect. So let's check this out. There's copper one oxide and there is uh, no uh, registration on the balance. That's just what we expect. Okay, so we'll go back. Copper 2 oxide, we have one uh, electron that's unpaired, so we should see a magnetic effect. And there we see uh, minus 1.7. The decimal is, is hard to see, but it's minus 1.7 grams. So in other words, the uh, this assembly here, the magnet has been raised slightly, being attracted to the copper one ox, uh, copper two oxide, and um, the result we see is a decrease of uh, 1.7 grams. So there's definitely an effect there.